Uh, thank you. I, um, being uh, to this part of the world, to, uh, to this climate change conference, and hearing what the government of Canada has to say about about climate change. I'm uh, kind of insulted of Mr. Kent's remark that he's proud of the tar sands. Uh, Canada is regarded as a, as a beautiful country. It is a beautiful country. I live by the second largest park national park in our world, Wood Buffalo National Park. It houses the largest free roaming herd of buffalo. It also has the whooping crane that is right in the flight path of the tar sands. The Peace Athabasca Delta is one of the largest fresh water deltas in the world. We live in the second largest migratory bird root in Canada. I belong to the Dene Nation that we have 33 First Nations north of the Tar Sands. This government that's in place right now, Mr. Stephen Harper's government, is doing everything with his government to destroy this natural beauty or the Dene have lived for thousands and thousands of years. Mr. Harper and his government are spending millions and millions of dollars in the United States lobbying in the support of building pipelines through the states, expansion through the BC. The Dene Nation, the people in the North had numerous and numerous of conferences dealing with water. We have called on the government over the years to put a moratorium on the expansion of the tar sands. This killing field is killing people in Fort Chip. I just want to say that I am the chair of, of the Territorial Stanton Territorial Hospital. We are starting to find that that cancer is becoming increasing. We've asked the doctors to do a survey and stomach cancer is the highest in the north, opposed to what nationally is the third. So something is happening. The doctors do not want to tell us that it's related to water, but it is related to water. This land that I come from, it is beautiful. This Wood Buffalo National Park is a land stretching over 17,000 square miles of land. This river that flows to the, Bikens to the Arctic Ocean is over 1,000 miles. It touches everybody that lives along the river. The fish that survive in the river. We are 200 miles downstream from the tar sands. And we are starting to find deformed fish in our territory, in our rivers.
Canada does not have a plan for the tar sands. Canada does not have a plan for water. There is no plan for what to do with water. Canada does not have a plan for energy. But yet this government can come here, coming from a democratic country, and not listening to the people. You do not have to be a wise man to see that the world is being destroyed around you. Yes, these people, these two, and more of them, to make the point yeah, these people are not worth a hundred billion dollars. They are worth nothing. If they continue to destroy the land that belongs to all people in Canada, and particularly the indigenous people that live in the territory and they survive on the land. The tar sand produces a third of, up to a third of the green gas emissions. The woodland caribou are now put on the dangerous species list and they are blaming the wolves. And the expansion of drilling in their territory, the wolves, the, the caribou cannot handle that. And a minister just recently, a minister Oliver, recently made an announcement, made a press release that this land is uninhabited. Where is this guy coming from? I just want to say that I come from Treaty 8 and Treaty 11, the territories. We expand all of the of the rivers, the watersheds that flows to the Arctic Ocean. The treaties is what binds indigenous people in Canada. We have answers of how to live together. We have answers of how to create an economy that is balanced. But this government is not listening. Yet just recently, unilaterally, declared that we are no longer indigenous people. They've changed the name to Aboriginal people. I don't like that. So I just want to say, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to say that this country that I live in is beautiful, and it's still beautiful, but if these two cowboys here continue to do what they're doing, the country is not going to be what it is. Very short time. So I just want to thank uh, the organizers for asking me to come here. Must be